Hi, so today we're gonna talk about Ghostbusters because recently, very recently, as of recording, they just announced the newest Ghostbusters movie that's about to come out in 2024 called Ghostbusters The Frozen Empire. So why not good time to talk about RPG game that no one played, I presume. So let's go on to right now. Okay. This came out in the 80s when the first Ghostbusters movie came out called Ghostbusters, a frightfully cheerful role-playing game. This is a pretty awesome little book. I'm gonna tell you right now, this PDF I got of this, it is the best. There are so many references and so many nods to the movie that you, if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, you're gonna enjoy the shit out of this. Just trust me right now. So let's go on to it. This is the training manual or the main source book, if you will. There are others, but this is my favorite. Congratulations. You have just purchased your very own Ghostbusters franchise. Now you too can earn big bucks and become a media superstar, battling spooks, spuds, and soul-sucking demons from beyond the grave. But hey, I gotta tell you right now, being a Ghostbusters in all Chateau Latif 57 Time Magazine covers. That's my Bankman impression, it's terrible. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, don't, don't sue me, Bill Murray. Don't, don't do it. I don't have the money. Don't sue me, bro. Don't, don't, no, stop it. Anyway, this is really cool. So this main book is about designing your own Ghostbuster. I also like the little uh, illustrations I got in here throughout as well. It's very, it's got this time, you know, it got, it got the New Yorker type of artwork to it. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen those artworks from New Yorker? That's what reminds me of a whole lot. Now, when you design your own Ghostbuster in this game, you can use the standard pictures of the original four guy, or you can make up your own Ghostbusters. That's fine. As long as they fit the traits and the talents. War traits and talents, I'll just run it down for you really quickly. So traits are various things that your Ghostbusters can do, but it depends on your talent as well. So for instance, Egon. Egon is considered brains, okay? Venkman, Venkman is considered the cool. And Stans, I think Stans kind of falls under more tech, because he's not quite muscle. He's got some brain, but he's not quite cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And uh, Winston Zeddemore, he uh, counts as moves. Or better yet, to give an example, how dexterous you are, or how much balance you got, or just in general, like, sight of hand kind of person. Brownie points in the game, those are kind of like, well, for D&D terms, think of it like your saving throw in a way. You get up to 20 of them, and each Ghostbuster can use them all together, 20. So when you use them, that's to help if you, uh, well, you got a fuck up, basically. So you fuck something up, there's a chance you can, like, redeem yourself by rolling in 20s. So for those who are not huge D&D nerds, uh, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. But ever since I played Boulder Gate 3, I am like really into this now. I, I really understand these a whole lot better. But no, let's go over each talent first, and then I'm going to, so let's go over each talent first, and then afterwards, I'm gonna create four to six-ish new Ghostbusters that have never been seen before, ever. I'm going to create them right here in this video, okay? So, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's, let's, let's just fucking do it, man. Now, of course, with the talents, we start with brains. Brains show how smart your Ghostbuster is. Duh, you're a smart one, obviously. And with those talents, you get traits like accounting, Anthropology, archaeology, electronics, geology, guess, guessing, hairstyling, history, journalism, physics, occult, medicine, physics. This is, uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I kind of like the way you thought that out. Next, we got the muscle. Muscle is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's how strong your Ghostbuster is, period. So say, if you're a brawler, or you jump really good, or you wrestle good, you run good, you lift good, maybe just gobble up food good, maybe you grapple good, I don't know or just fucking rip shit apart. That means you uh, you, you a brick house. No one can fuck with you. Then we got the moves. Moves are about how dexterous and physically ADAP you are. And basically all around good shooter as well and accuracy. So say you have great balance or you, you know, say you're a break dancer or you have good in disguise or you can dodge really good or drive vehicles really good. Yes, yeah, Winston did drive a lot of vehicles, even in the cartoon, a little sus right there. You got cool, that's next. Cool is exactly what it sounds like. You just cool. You, you just you gotta like that basically. You bold, brave, brassy. You just you got that charm. You know what I mean? You got that that genuine quasi. You can bargain. You can bluff. You can borrow. You can play poker. You can play a stock market. You can raise fucking children. You can straight up fucking lie. You can charm people, convince people, fast talk people. I think I probably would, would pick a cool person. I think I probably would have. Now here's something that's a little controversial, but I'm gonna talk about them for a second. These are. An extra little bonus thing, which is personal goals. Each Ghostbuster has a goal. Sex, solar science, fame, serving humanity, or straight up money. 
straight up. Just, just give me that bread, bro. Sex is, I mean, is Vanquish's favorite, apparently. That's what the illustration is telling me. With his big ass hand. What the fuck is up with that hand, by the way? Oh my god. Bro, put that hand away, bro. The fuck, man? Bro, no. What, what this man doing? What you doing, Vankman? What the fuck? And then there's wealth. Duh, it's basically won't be Donald Trump, basically. Or just, you know, just got money, period. I wish we all did, man. Fucking telling you. Fame. That's an easy one. Who the fuck doesn't want fame? Everybody wants goddamn fame. You know it. Just about everybody. That's enough said right there. Solar science. Now, this one's interesting. The advancement of science is what's important. So what if you folks are temporarily inconvenienced or the water in the Hudson River dries up or Iceland moves a couple hundred miles north? If it advances science in the long run, mankind will thank you for it. Mankind will let me love you, but those people on Iceland will hate your guts. Ain't wrong, bro. Serving humanity. I mean, being a Boy Scout. You know, general... Helping out people. Just be the general good guy. Nothing wrong with that. And that kind of stuff will build up your personality for your Ghostbuster. In general, anyway. That's the general idea. It's all just a beginner's guide for it. And there's several things you can do throughout the game as well. Including several things here, but just to name a few. Let's say, for example, you're trying to just blast the wall of a proton pack. Just trying to sleep. Trying to fucking sleep. Drive a car. Eating a fucking hot dog. Getting into a regular argument in New York City. Good luck with that. Using a payphone. You know that's the 80s. Ain't nobody using a fucking payphone no more, bro. Not even a thing. They all kind of guys under easy jobs, normal jobs, hard jobs, impossible jobs. Now, here's one that's like a big bonus here. The ghost die. You might have seen that in the thumbnail of this video. The little uh, Ghostbusters insignia one. The ghost die must be tossed at all times when it comes to certain things you're trying to do. Like, if something bad happened, gotta roll that ghost die. Something good might happen, gotta roll that ghost, that ghost man, gotta roll that ghost. You see that motherfucker over there trying to pee in the corner? Roll that ghost. You see that woman try to eat that fucking pastrami sandwich that might fuck her up? Roll that ghost. Roll him. Always roll that ghost. Kicking someone's ass. That's... Roll that ghost. Movement. Roll that ghost. Sequence of play. Roll that ghost. Combat. Roll that ghost. Hand to hand. Roll that ghost. <laughs> Ranged weapons. Hell yeah, roll that motherfucking ghost. Cross the streams, you better fucking bleed roll that goddamn ghost. Shit, here's the big one. You can either have death, damage, hospitals, and sick time. You still gotta roll that motherfucking ghost either fucking way, okay? You gotta. Now it's another thing, which is using your equipment in the first place. The Ghostbusters have like a plethora of fucking equipment all over the place from the proton packs, ecto scanner. They got the little goggles that they use to, I guess, x-ray through stuff. I don't know, some kind of ghost vision. Now in the game, they have his own equipment cards. His little, it's like, like train pack cards, basically. And you can use them for various activities and tasks if you want to throughout the game when someone makes a game for it. Including, but not related to, they got Alpine gear, which is like, you know, climbing hammers, rope clamps, or auto analyzer. That's the little kooky little gadget that's like, you know, put, it's like a helmet thing. Put in your head, it's a goggle thing. Sometimes you might pick up something from it. A beach kit for the beach is just a beach kit. Bullhorn is a bullhorn. Cellular phone. 1980 cellular phones. Is that big brick one? Fuck no that. The Ecto-1. Hell yeah, boy. The Ecto-1. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. Ecto-visors. Again, the glasses. Basically, we see it in the dark. That's all. A Geiger counter. Sometimes a uh, ghost is just radioactive. You don't know what the fuck's going to happen, man. You might just, uh, you might get cancer from a goddamn ghost. That's some bullshit right there. The ghost trap, the classic. Ghost trap says it all. You go, you trap the ghosts in, in the damn trap. After you, you know, whack a few times with your proton pack. That stick. Infrared camera. Okay. A parachute. Fucking parachute? Really? A peaky E meter. I call it the ectometer. Sorry. But it basically picks up ghosts. It, tra it traces ghosts. It tracks them down, basically. A protection grid says it all right there. It just basically protects you from various things, from ghosts to just getting hurt in general. And of course, what else? The proton pack, the classic. You know, the, the wands, the weapons, the guns. Wet them suckers out. Yo, man, back in the 80s and 90s, that shit was cool as fuck. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody named mom back in the day, we, we, we ate good there, okay? Proton pack, I'm good. I'm good, bro. This is all I need. Okay, guys, so I'm taking it to the next part of the video where I am doing designs for each and every one of my new Ghostbusters I'm going to create for this game specifically. So... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to have fun with it. I hope the results are satisfactory. Also, remind you that if you haven't done already, please like, share, subscribe. Okay? Like, share, subscribe. Want to see one of these videos just like this? Like, share, subscribe. Back to video. Hey, what's up? I'm in another recording. So, 
for this part of the video, I'm going to do something different, which is I'm still going to sketch these characters out. I'm not going to do it through my usual digital arts. Instead, I'm going to do it the old school fashion way with graphite pencil straight up. So what you've seen right now for each one of these characters I'm going to go through, these are my Ghostbusters all done in graphite on paper one by one. Okay. So this is a rare opportunity for me to just show you. Yeah, I got some skill. So anyway, let's get into it. Sir Gregory Wimplebum. His stats are brains, seven, muscle, one, moves, seven, cool, five. He is a British colonist, spirit, and a spiritual guide. He can possess objects and people. The effect is limited to one at a time. The Ghostbusters are able to see him thanks to Cindy. That's his handler, basically, which I'll get to her in a second. Sir Gregory can be condescending and mean at times, slightly racist, sexist, and yes, homophobic. While Cindy being present, Sir Gregory cannot manifest at all. Sir Gregory is also willing to always lend a hand, just as long as there is a favor involved. He's that guy. He's that guy. On to the next one. Cindy Boz. Brains, eight. Muscle, three. Moves, five. Cool, four. She is the spiritual medium of the team. She uses Sir Gregory as her personal spiritual guide. She also owns a small cafe that doubles as a spiritualist trinket store called Lifting Spirits. And also these Ghostbusters hang out at the cafe, so that's her hangout spot. So, bonus. Cindy is demisexual, which means she's only attracted to those of high intelligence. It can mean other things too, but that's the main thing. She, she's only attracted to people with high intelligence. Another thing about Cindy, she had to kill her mother as a teenager when she became possessed by a demonic spirit. Ever since then, her interest in Supernatural only grew. That's how she discovered her talents as a spirit medium and ended up both befriending and being spirit bind to Sir Gregory, since it turns out he is an ancestor of hers. Plot twist. Next one. Will Hustle. Brains 5, Muscle 7, Moves 5, Cool 3. He is an ex-con. He's also, obviously, you can see this picture as I'm making it, a burn victim. He owned a loan from the mob and literally ended up getting burned for not being able to pay them back. He served some time for his crimes and he wanted a new lease on life. Will dislikes those who try to kiss up to him or others. He also has a guilty conscience and he tends to white knight sometimes. He's that, yeah, he, he's that white knight guy. He doesn't do it all the time, but... Yeah, every so often it comes out. And back in the day, he used to run an injury claim scams. And as a current, Will is still slowly paying back all those that he wronged with his fake, you know, insurance claims. So, yeah. Yeah, he owes a lot of money. Still. The last one. Jeremiah Zilch. Brains, six. Muscle, four. Moves, three, cool, seven. Jeremiah was a former cult leader and the current owner of Zilch Loans. Also, he's filthy rich. He's the rich guy. He's the leader of the team. In his early years in the 80s, he ran a pacifist spiritual cult called Eye of Gozer, which is a sect of another cult called the Cult of Gozer. If you don't know who Gozer is, that was the main antagonist for the original Ghostbusters movie. Once he discovered the true nature of this demonic presence behind it, Jeremiah quit and became a typical stockbroker. After securing his finances and a divorce in the late 2000s, Jeremiah eventually put all of his earnings to a loaning business known as Zilch Loans. Jeremiah is an opportunist, yet charismatic older gentleman. He also likes discussing about his former alcoholism and has taken steps to get better, but has been clean for almost 20 years now. So. Not bad, he's doing okay. 
Also, he doesn't seem to understand pronouns of they, them, so he chooses to just call that individual by their preferred name instead. He gets confused by that. He's an older guy. He, he's trying. He's trying. For some strange reason, demonic spirits seem to despise him. There's a small chance they'll either try to attack him directly or they'll be weakened by his presence. Hmm. The plot thickens. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I had... Dude, this is nostalgia lane for me. I, I am in heaven right now. I'm telling you. I'm more shocked they actually announced a new Ghostbusters film to begin with. So, so soon, too. But, you know what? One more time is okay with me. I, I, I'll watch it one, one more time. One more. Because I am a fan. That being said, please join my Discord when you can. Please visit my website or my Patreon for an art commission. If you want to get merch, it's in the links below the descriptions, okay? Sit down there. If you really like what I'm doing this video and the channel in general, leave a super thanks. That little big old heart. I heart you too, buddy. Man, I'm telling you, we need it so bad. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to enjoy my day. But in the meantime, please check out this next video. I really appreciate if you did that for me. That would be algorithm. Get it? Yeah, you got it. I'll see you over there.